Mr. O'Neill's arrival in Medang comes about a week after the PNC National Congress in Leh, where major policy issues were announced or reaffirmed. A pension system for the elderly and the disabled will be brought to Parliament for approval. The SME summit complements those policies. It will, if done well, provide opportunities for the young, the unemployed and those keen to own and operate businesses. At the Divine Word University Auditorium, he was greeted by a patriotic crowd of 400 participants. In an electric atmosphere, those recommendations were given to him by the Medang Governor, Jim Cuss. And whatever has been put on paper, Mr. Prime Minister, there will be no apologies. The government is being asked to increase budgetary spending to support small to medium enterprises. That support will include, at least for Papua New Guinea, radical legislative changes similar to what Malaysia did 40 years ago. An SME corporation and anti-dummy company laws will also be brought to parliament for approval and the high cost of doing business has also been brought to the attention of the Prime Minister. And sometimes some businesses need to have government to participate in it. You know, governments to come in and support it rather than giving them grants, take up equity in businesses that Papua New Guineans do, and then get out of it when they are strong. One of the major challenges will be the bureaucracy and its ability to implement the policies based on the suggestions of this SME summit. Mr. O'Neill said a package of reforms will be introduced to revitalize the public service. Scott Wade, National MTV News, Medang.